don't listen to the Beatles run. Old Bo Cephas threw a jukebox needle at the honky tonk where they boot stomp all night. What? Right. Yeah, and what they call work a digging in the dirt. Gotta get it in the ground before the rain come down to get paid to get the girl and your four wheel drive. Yeah, the four is round here, drinking that. Welcome to the Wing It Call, 11-29-2016. Wingman, mute yourself, please. So take a knee, please. Lord, thank you for your wisdom and your patience. We do need a bushel basket full. You test us to help us grow, to see where we stand. Even though you know our hearts, you test us so that we understand, so that we can see our growth. I thank you for that. Thank you for the protection for my brothers and sisters. Now, as you bring your blessing down, please guide us and protect us. And I know that you say that you'll never put more on our shoulders than what we can stand. Some of us have tied many knots in the end of our rope, and we sure could use a little help. And I know you say to be patient, and all things work out in the end. In your favorite quote to me, Lord, just be patient. It's all right, my son. So, in Jesus Christ's name, amen.
Disclaimer. Oh, the recording is going. Really? Uh, you forgot to mute yourself, Conroe. <clears throat> Disclaimer. We're not attorneys, CPAs, or financial advisors. Anything on this call is not to be considered any form of legal advice. And for the rest of the disclaimer, please go to thewingitcall.com. There's a disclaimer tab. Click on it, and you'll get the rest of the disclaimer. That being said, well, 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 hasn't been an interesting last 24, 36 hours. I want to readdress a couple of things. One minute, please. Hold on just a minute, please. Because I didn't tweet out a link today, but I did it yesterday. People are saying, where's the link? Where's the link? Copy link address. Go to my Twitter page. Paste. Here's the link. All by itself. Sorry about that. Let me get back over here. Hasn't it been an interesting day today? Oh, by the way, star two to raise your hand because today it's all about you. From now on, it's always about the callers, but star two, especially from now on to the end of the year, it's it's going to be Q and A pretty much all the time. So, again, to readdress my last call, the wing it call will be ending December twenty seventh. By the end of the year, that's the last call that the wing it call will be doing. Wingman and myself are going to take off the month of January because we're tired and reassess after the month of January whether or not we need to pick back up where we're stopping. So here is the schedule for the calls. Two calls a week for the next and I'm talking about starting today, the next one, two, uh, three weeks, up to December 16th, I will have two calls a week. Then the holidays basically start, and we're dropping down to one call a week. And so starting December 20th, there will only be one call that week. And the very last wing it call will be two days after Christmas on the 27th. So there is the schedule. Also, all of the links, all of the archived links, if you wanna if you wanna download something, you have two weeks to go to the trust calls and download anything that you want. After two weeks, you're going to be SOL. Let me say that again. If there's something that you want off of my web page that has been archived or in the replay links, which is considered archived, any master trust calls, any calls that that I've had that are on my web page, if you want them, download them. So all these emails about requesting that, this is what you can do. And after two weeks from today, or let me know. Let me give a let me give a hard date. I will say 
by December 16th, that's three weeks from, that's almost a full three weeks, come December 16th, if you haven't downloaded what you wanted, not my fault, not my problem, and I will not answer an email saying, can you send me, you know, whatever. I hate to be like that, but I get them all the time. The links are hot and active, and you can download them. I suggest you do that. Save what you want. That way you'll have it for prosperity. Um, what else? Okay. Let me address this. I, I know that I have, hmm, I have a caller that has her hand raised. We'll get to her in just a second. <clears throat> I do want to address the thing about HSBC. Bold statement. Didn't quite work out right. Got everybody in Dinar land upset. That being said, I'll burn. It's your turn to burn. Hey, Jerry, it's Utah. Utah. Hey. Oop. So, Utah, how you doing? I'm a little upset, obviously. I woke up this morning at 7 a.m. to a, uh email that was put out by Yosef and Tank. And um, I'm going to just briefly give my disclaimer. This is my opinion only. But I want everybody to hear a little bit about this email so we can all get control of the situation quickly. Um, I'm going to read just a little bit of it so we can kind of get an idea. It says, there has been a seismic change tonight, and this was aired on the Real Truth call last night. It says, I'm hearing Wells Fargo has been sacked as far as exchanging for the sovereign rates. HSBC is their parent company, and HSBC is the only bank going to be exchanging for the sovereign rates. And then they went ahead and gave some dates. They said tomorrow after 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, HSBC will be setting appointments to exchange the ZIM and all other currencies. And they want you to um, just remember that Wells Fargo is out for sovereign rates. Um, let's correct this, like right now, before we can do some damage in Dinarland. First of all, um, I am throwing Yosef and Tank under the bus. I hope they can get out of Dinarland after today. But um, for them to put out an 800 number when everybody's nerves are so raw, I'm having a problem with this. And so I'm asking uh, you, Jerry, why do you believe that this is, why are they doing this? to everybody in such a time that um, I believe we're at the end here. So I'm wondering at the end why they would try and, um, I guess, misplace all their information and try to get everybody distracted and go to another bank. So this is a, probably the lowest thing I've seen in Denarland when there have been so many lives lost and so many nerves just raw from this. So I'm a little curious of why they would do this. So um, just looking for your opinion, too, and maybe ICOs, because this is probably the worst thing I've read and ever woke up to. So anyway, thanks. You're welcome. I think that ICO and I, unless he really wants to, we're going to let everybody else speak for us. We've spoken enough on this issue. Um, we'll let the people talk. But I want to say one other thing here. I tweeted out a link from Dinar Chronicles. It's, it, it's entitled The Heinous NDA Clawback by One Who Believes. Rather than read it on the air, I, I texted out or I tweeted out the link and it's a very good read, and it's a very good point to ask. But right in the right in the middle um, of this article, 
in bold black letters, I only ask, this is what it says, I only ask one thing. I want no worries before the exchange, no worries during the exchange, and no worries after the exchange. Is that too much to ask? It's, it's a very well-written, hopefully it's read by whoever it needs to get to. And that's all I have to say about that. And after the uh, the end of the call, I will retweet that that link out. Okay, star two to raise your hand. Oh, I, I forgot, wingman, wingman. Do you have anything you'd like to bring to the party? Wingman. Uh oh. Sorry, sorry. I was having. Uh... Technical issue. Phone headset, headset karma. I don't know what I don't know what got said. Um, I mean, I, I heard I heard Becky's uh, uh, ask for our opinion. I don't know what opinion you gave. So, uh, but I I, I, but I definitely I, have something I, to say. Okay, Go well ahead. you got a lot of background noise there. Okay. Okay. You get out you of have the All right, I should be okay now. Okay, you have an opinion. Uh, she gave her thing about the 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 right. Yost, I understood. Yeah, I heard, I heard. I heard. Yes, I heard it all. And I said I our, it all. our position on that was we were going to let the people talk because we we've had our opinion unless that right. you had one to offer. Other than that, it was just, it was Q and A time. Okay, I just I just have some advice. If you all would go online and Google CIA psyops manual okay you'll see four books all right i for one am tired of doing everybody's homework for them so buy one of those books and read it and you'll understand exactly what's going on right there in black and white printed by the men themselves that's all i got to say about this thank you um, raise your hand or it's going to be short call. Orlando, Florida, 407, come on down. Boy, you open up a can of words every every time you get on a call, don't you, Jerry? <laughs> I'm just kidding. What? No, um, you know, it, it's like Paco said. If you've never been around the military and understand what PSYOPs is, you're in the middle of it. Like, I, like we talked about last call, this is the calm before the storm. There's something here. We don't know what it is. It's closed. Um, I got a. I'm not. I found a video on YouTube today, kind of funny. It was about the same area that I that we were in when I was in Iraq. Now they've got a mall, and they've got a little sign inside this mall that says nine nine dur, uh, nine dinar point nine three. So with that mall being built in the area that I know it it was in, that ought to tell you something. And I've got the video, and I'll email it to you later on, Jerry, after the call. But uh, is it like is said, it YouTube? Yeah, it's on YouTube. It's on just YouTube. Okay, well, there, but just send me the link, and I'll tweet it out. I sure will. And uh, like I said, there's something going on, and this is pure, pure psyops. That's why, you know, you just got to sit back and watch this tornado, hurricane, blizzard, whatever you want to want to do, because it's going to get a lot worse before it gets better. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Like I could like Ico said last week, you're going to have all kinds of BS come your way before, during, and after this. And me personally on the NDA, if I don't have to sign one, I'm not signing one. That's my personal opinion. It's a contract. A contract states you've got to do something, they've got to do something. If I don't have to sign it, I ain't signing it. That's my personal opinion. Take it for whatever it's worth. That's what I'm going to do. I can't tell you what everybody else is going to do, and that's, that's all there is to that. But like you said, this is all pure psyops. And these people need to watch out what they say, how they say it, because everybody's on nerves right now because of what, what's going on. Things are tough for everybody. Everybody, it is tough. Opium is a good thing, but lies is another thing, and I can't stand it, Jerry. I can't stand it. All right. And Thank you, sir. that's what's going on. Thank you, sir. You have a blessed day and a Merry Christmas. You too. So I I just got an email. 
and it said, uh, can you tell me where the rest of the links are located? All you have is up to August 28th, and this for the, is for the trust calls. <clears throat> there is like 11, I think that's the last one we did. If not, click on like October or November, and uh, this person knows who I'm talking about. If, you'll, if you just click on it, it'll probably say trust call off to the side, and then you can just download those. But there's that should be all of the of the trust calls that you're looking for. Um, here we go. Houston, can you hear me now? Hello, Jerry. Howdy. How are you, sir? Good. How are you? I'm good. Uh, blessings. Um, a question. As far as uh, uh, us now going with HSBC, is Abbott Downing still in the picture? As far as I know, I can answer. I can answer all of your questions, and, I, and I'm not. What's the word I'm looking for? We won't know. They're keeping us in the dark like a mushroom. Mushrooms grow great, great in the dark when you feed them a bunch of BS. But one thing is for sure: when it's our turn, and when we go in, at that point, after they explain it to us, that's when we'll know what's going on. Before then, we know diddly. I hate I right. hate to say that, but that's all we know. So, yes, sir. A, I hope that answers all your questions. Uh, yeah, it does. It does. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Naples, Florida, 239. Come on down. Hello. Yes, sir. You hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Uh, I go. Ed Kaminsky. Edward K. Hello. He's, he's he's got to unmute himself, so give him just a second. Okay, okay, I think I'm okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Yep. Whoops. I go. Uh, I'm in deep doo doo here. I'm going to lose yeah. the house in, a, in about thirty yeah. days. Yeah. Uh, you have my number, uh, Jerry. Yes. Hold on. Let me. Well, the question I know what you want. Do you yeah. are you wanting some advice from Wingman? Well, I'd like to talk to him, and he can dial me with a star six seven, and I won't get his number. So <laughs> if he's afraid of that, yeah, it, it, there are there are some things I can help you with. Um, that uh, that 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 we can talk about in private. So so sure, I'll get the number. I'll get the number from Jerry and give you a call. I'm not sure if it's going to be today or if I do it tomorrow. What's a good time for you? Any time. I'm here. Okay. Okay. Fine. All okay. right. Thank you, sir. Not going anywhere except out the door eventually. <laughs> okay. Okay. I know Thanks. it. it you're welcome. It's Gonna mute back. Okay. okay. Fort Myers, two three nine. Come on down. Hi, Jerry. Just a quick question: Are the exchange centers are they manned at this point? I don't know, and anything that we hear, I'm suspect because we've been here so long. And again, if I sound like a broken record. We're not going to know until we go in. PSYOPs 101, okay? Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Boy, here's a blast from the past. Austin, Texas, 512. Hello, Jerry. Can you hear me? All day long. Come on. Hello, Jerry. Can you hear me? Yes. Come on down. Okay. For the gentleman that uh, was concerned about his house, and they're getting ready to take it, just a thought. You guys might want to count. You've, you've got a lot of background noise there. Uh, that's because I'm on the highway. Yeah, I'm running. 
what I was going to say is um, have him find a very good attorney very quickly there. File suit against the the mortgage company, and your and the point that you're making is that um, uh, you believe that there's uh, uh, some issues with the paperwork, and you contest their their ability or their right to uh, to foreclose. It'll stop everything dead in its tracks, and maybe that's just what he's going to need to uh, to get past this. Uh, this pending heartache. Okay. But since I'm just in that business, you know what I do. So I just thought yeah. I would give that to you. And brother, I'm back out again. Okay. Appreciate Raleigh, North Carolina, 919. Oh, come on. Really? Barry Joe, you got, we got to elevate your voice. Can we hear one more time your Barry, Barry Manilow imitation? <laughs> Hello, ladies. I'm sorry, Barry White. <laughs> A special song for you coming up right next. All right, that's not bad. That's not bad. All right. I, had to, I had to get you something, something to elevate your voice just a little bit today. I saw you still there. You, you can't hear me today? I can hear yeah, you. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. There he is. There he is. I go question. There he is. Yes. Every December, every December since I've been in this, we keep hearing about countries that vote in other countries to the WTO. Mm-hmm. Is this is this again another situation coming up for the month of January in Iraq if they pass that damn budget this month that or maybe December will finally get voted in. No, it has nothing to do with it. Okay. Iraq, Iraq follows what the people who are running this thing do, not the other way around. Iraq is not dictating anything they are being dictated to. Okay. Okay. However, the WTO has reached critical mass, so that's a good thing. We got. Okay. Out of, we got, you know, 208 countries out there, most of them, I will say most, uh, are ready, willing, and able to get this done. Um, there are some bad actors across the board, not about nationalities. It's about power structures. you gotta think, you, you got to think like a world-class citizen here. Um, it's not the U.S., it's not Russia, you know, it's not, you know, it's not Iraq, it's 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 entities in on the on the planet that have uh interfered for both good and bad reasons. That's the other that's the other thing that's awful hard to wrap your head around. Sometimes what we call the white hats have stopped this or stalled it, let's say that's probably a better word, stalled it. Sometimes the black hats have, um, but the bottom line is it's 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 a process and it is ready to uh, uh, initiate. We're just we're just waiting for the the, uh, the initiation by the people who really control it, and that's a no fly zone. Gotcha. Thank you. Yep, Barry. One more time on that Barry White, please, and I'll mute out. Hello, ladies. Just a little special something for you next. <laughs> Boots, buddy. That sounded more like a drunk Hank Williams, if you ask me. <laughs> How you doing, my brother? How you doing? Uh, hey, Ico, uh, how you doing Black Friday? Did you buy the stores out? I heard you were shopping like, the, was like there was no tomorrow. I have a little nickname for him. I call him the shopper because he's always, you know, shopping when he's on. Well, you normally when when uh, a question's asked to him, he's online at some, you know, mall or, or whatever. Maybe buying some uh, buying some uh, uh, goods for his uh, Chinese cheese straighteners there. Anyway, listen. I wanted to just ask you, how can Iraq 
RV if there's still war against ISIS. I mean, they, as far as we know, Mosul is still in the hands of ISIS. There's a lot, lot going on there, unless that's just another smoke screen. Can you answer that for me, or maybe Ico? He's not online yet. Uh, that's more in his bivouac. Uh, can we uh, summon him, or is he... Uh, He's listening. Can ISIS report to the reception desk, please? I mean, sorry, <laughs> ISIS, look at me. Ico, re report to the reception desk, please, Mr. Ico. Uh, hold on. All right, can you hear me? Absolutely. Yeah, go ahead. I they they, they got to do something about this this these iPhones. They just got to make it easier. Um, first of all, when I'm shopping, it's usually a, it's, we only eat organic foods, so I got to go like three different freaking places every time I'm we go shopping. You. So I'm just, just I know just, just having I know, but with but it's a, it's it's a it's a source of frustration on my part, quite frankly. <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, okay. So, again, we have we have to get away from the model that was put out a few years ago by Tony in DC. It was okay. a valid model at one point. It was a valid at model. Time, yeah, yeah. At that time, let's let's all watch Iraq, and as you know, and as and whatever Iraq does, once once they go, we go. That was a true statement. Well, that's because there was no talk of a GCR back then. It was just Iraq that's right. uh, currency. That's right. right. That's right. The shift has been Iraq is now in the same boat we are. They're taking right. their marching orders from 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 the high command. Let's call them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, some, some, a lot of the a lot of the names for the people controlling this are misleading um, on yeah. purpose. Oh, okay. I, absolutely. They are being controlled. Yeah. They've been being controlled ever since. Uh, the troops left there, you know, our, our administration has had their hands on it for many years. Yes, and but we all have to understand. Yeah, following well, the game plan, right? right? Right. We all have to understand that this particular attempt at a GCR is 40 years old. It's been going on for a long time, and they've tried to do it a few times and simply didn't didn't have all their ducks in a row. Well, what makes today what what makes today's day and age different from forty years ago? I mean, are there because, a lot of factors involved? Governments, yeah. uh, okay. The world the world leaders have finally figured out a a structure so that there is a unified voting block. Um, the first evidence of that voting block is the Paris Accord. That's the first official deal that the WTO nations. Have put together and and uh, and ratified. Um, yeah, but there were 30 treaties. How do we know that one of the treaties had to do with uh, you know expediting the GCR? Well, that's that that's the that's there's the rub. We we don't have there is nothing in black and white simple declarative sentences that says that anywhere, and there's a reason for that. Just like, um, I mean, I'll use it. It's, it's a good example for, for, for how these things happen, whether or not you agree with it. Hiding something in plain sight, hiding something in plain well, sight, kind of. Well, yeah, but no, it's more like, more like Obamacare. I mean, look at, look at what it finally took to get Obamacare put through. And, and <laughs> yeah, the way they did it, it's, <laughs> it's, it's full of holes. It's full of mistakes. Uh, some parts of it are great. Some parts of it are really inefficient. Um, but that's the best they could do because of the, the political atmosphere at the time. The, the, the power brokers, the players in Obamacare, were. You know, I'm surprised. I'm, su I'm surprised it even got through like it did. Oh, I am too. You know, that actually, yeah. I believe that wasn't about health care at all. I think personally yeah. that yeah. that was that was used as a means to remove a good, uh, uh, you know, policy, uh, health care policy from the people. It did both. had nothing it to do with helping anyone. And added, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and some other nefarious things that, you know, are written yep. inside that 
you know, yep, we don't want and to that's why we, that's why we wanted wanted to get rid of, or that's why we do want to get rid of that, you know, why we want to drain that swamp, even though absolutely. Well, that's another discussion, but but so anyway, mm-hmm. so anyway, the, the point the point being, um, it's very hard for 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 everybody or most people now to still not consider the Iraqi card in this and and you really you really have to just look at Iraq as another nation that's being affected by the delay in yeah. in the in the G C R. They are they are in no way decision makers, they are followers all the yeah. way through and through. What they Absolutely. what they do has has nothing look, ISIS could take over that entire country, as far as I'm concerned, all over again, but the GCR is going to happen with or without them. That's that's where we're headed now. The GCR yeah, has well, there's a lot more nations now play. that are in yeah that are in dire need of a really yeah. good economy than you know. Yep. I mean, don't forget yep. you got the Rothschilds, Dick. They're you know these bank owners. They're they're hell bent on their Agenda 21, Agenda 2030. Their whole game is to pile on as much debt as possible on the people of the world. But guess what? Mm-hmm. There's more people in the world than there are these morons. And by the way. They're not on the throne. Our sovereign God is on the throne. So, I mean, they, that, that's you got to look at this thing from all aspects, but you really got to have faith, and we really do. You know, I'm, I, I, I know, I, I, I know, I come back to God, this God thing again. But, you know, when you're a true child of God, God's on your mind all the time, and, and you, you see things that most people can't see because they don't have discernment. But I, I can tell you honestly. Prayer does work, man. It's worked in my life. And we have to, and there's a lot of Christians listening on. I'm sure there are a lot of Christians, you know, bought a lot of this, you know, currency. Listen, you guys, you got to call those things that be not as though they were. You want this thing to work? We all want it to work, all right? God said to call those things that be not as though they work, as, as though they were. And and he's given us the authority and 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 the power over all devils and demons. We gotta know who we are in Christ, guys. We gotta know that we have this power and authority, and we can invoke it any time we any any time we need to. So if if you got you know some demonic things going on in this country, we can speak it out of existence. We can we have God said we have the power to bind and loosen. So whatever we bind as Christians. Because God said in James 5.16, the, the the prayers of the righteous availeth much. That means, you know, that we're concrete. Okay. You know? So that, well, Look. wait a minute. I, I'm, just, I'm just trying to get to the point. God said whatever okay. we bind and loosen on earth, he'll bind and loosen in heaven. So we got to take him at his word and just do it. And I guarantee things will move a lot smoother when we all, because we're all strength in numbers. we got to do this collectively. And, and And that's all I really have to say. And God bless you guys and stay safe. I'll talk to you Thank later you. in a week. Okay. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. Well, Wayne Land? Oh. Nobody wants to Could talk. Be a, nobody wants to talk. This is Q&A day. Wow. It's going to be Q&A from now on, and... Can I, wants can, to I talk? Stir the, can I stir the nest a little bit? Well, sure, why not? I've done it enough. Um, yeah. Guys, listen. Uh, I I know we're all in different camps, okay? Um, you guys know where I come from by now. You know where I come from. Um, when... Even after the RV occurs in whatever form it is about to occur in, if you retreat back into a position of safety and surround yourselves with only people who you feel safe with, I guarantee you you will not sustain your fortune. And I guarantee you that the things you want to change will not change because you have to talk to the other side of the fence. You have to. You have to communicate. You have to consider. I'm not saying being stupid about it. 
I'm not saying that. What I am saying, though, is that you have to open yourself to other opinions and other ideas and other interpretations of who God is. If you don't, there will only be continued separatism. The problems that you want to get rid of will not go away. They'll simply morph because, you know, in in terms of God and the devil, that's what the devil does. The devil morphs into another form. But the common problem or the evil remains unless unless you can embrace all sides of the issue. That's that's my soapbox for today, but man, that's how that's how it works. And if you're unwilling to do the work, like I said at the beginning of the call, if you want to understand what's been going on for the past year, it's real simple. There are four books out there and it will explain to you step by step. And after reading those four books, A, you'll be able to recognize what's been fostered upon us. And B, you'll be able to run your own psyops. You know, if if, if that's what you want. Oh, oh, do. oh, and you just, did you say Google, uh, Google CIA psyops and it'll bring up four yep. books on the internet? It'll bring up, it'll bring up four manuals that explain how to do everything. And if you read those manuals, you will see what Joseph and some others, but particularly Joseph, have been have been up to. Um, it's it's like you know it's it's just it's it's a textbook textbook case. So there you let, go. Let you us walk any page. Do you, do you know do you know where Lancaster is located? Do we do we want to talk to those people in Lancaster, Pennsylvania? Oh yeah, they're they're nice people up there. Okay. I, I so. Okay, we are nice. We are nice people over here. <laughs> yeah. We're we're Ico's well, you know, neighbors. Uh, okay. Yeah. Go ahead, ma'am. Um we listened to uh the replay of that call last night that this the first lady was talking about. And uh so I thought, well I'm gonna go to the to the internet and I checked HSB HSBC, whatever. And um I called I talked called their uh, main office and the lady didn't even know that they had but they didn't even know they had branches here, but once I got through all that, I asked them about exchanging currency, and she said, "Oh, we don't do that." And I'm like, "What?" She said, "We don't do foreign currency." I'm like, "Okay." And asked her a few more questions. You can yes, you can open an international bank account, blah blah blah, but they said they do not absolutely do not do foreign currency. She said, "You'll have to buy that or take that elsewhere. So I thought, well, okay. Yeah, it, w- it was interesting. Um, could this possibly be a way to, since they have announced it, that Zimbabwe is one-to-one, I mean, that's an international, I mean, that's a, we can't refute that truth. So that's obviously not a psyop. But could this be to keep people from, um, so many people from getting the the higher rates because we have quite an educated group here. Could that be a way to have us maybe miss that wind of opportunity if we think, oh, now well, we got to go to what what you're saying, what what you've just said is is that Zimbabwe is one one, but the key thing here to remember is they might be speaking it, but until it hits forex or the bank rec- banks recognize it, there is nothing we can do. Okay. That's the bottom line right there. Zimbabwe can make all the claims they want, but until the banks, the UST, and whoever else say, oh, yes, absolutely, we can't do nothing about it. Hmm. I feel like, I don't even want to say what I feel like, but I definitely feel like we're we're being tied and squeezed (laughs) as tight as we can be. It's uh-huh. not a fun feeling. Not a fun nope. feeling. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Bye bye. You know what we can say? You're a smart lady. You're a very smart lady. Very smart lady. Here we go. Albuquerque, five oh five. Why is my there we go, it's delayed. Five oh five. Albuquerque, come on down.
Albuquerque, you're unmuted. It's probably you probably have your phone muted. Albuquerque. Okay, are we there now? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Hi, dear. You and uh, yeah. you and I call her the man. I've been listening to calls for many years, and I ended up coming back to you guys. Is what you say? It's just common sense. That's what's missing in a lot of this talk, GCR, RV, and all this stuff. Anyway, in response to <clears throat> foreclosure business, I use the method myself. I'm not selling it. I don't make anything of it. It was a desperation call. Haven't made a house payment in... It's actually at my house. It's relatives. Haven't made a house payment since 2012. And since you don't own the house, the bank has to make the tax payments. I got first-hand verifiable knowledge that it works. All you have to do is go to David Wynn Miller's website, and it's complex. It's complicated. Um, it's a language most people have never heard before called Parse Syntax Grammar. And I, <laughs> I doubted the heck out of it until I discovered <clears throat> that it works. And what it cost you? Three grand. So you, that, that's the issue. Of, uh, several of these people don't have even have that kind of money. That's the problem. I, I totally I know get before it. they ever right before they ever raise their hands, I, I'm going to say it for them, and I know already from reading their emails. Yeah, I, I totally get it. Uh, we didn't have it either at the time. We managed to come up with it. The guy's pretty forgiving, but it's a uh, it's more than anything, it's an exercise in language. Until we change over to common law, which we're hoping to go to, right now we're in maritime admiralty. And this filing that he does beats everybody. Government can't do nothing with it. I got 40 years of proof under my belt. I know what it's like. I've already lost a house. So why don't what? you uh, why why don't you email me a link so that I can tweet it out because people will will look forever trying to find it. So if you'll send me the the website address and an email, just title it, you know, bankruptcy, and I'll I'll tweet that link out. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Any any filing in the courts of any kind, no matter what you're going to deal with. If you use his paperwork, and my understanding is, although I haven't done it for anything else, certain things like IRS and, and you know, whatever other stuff you file in the court, it beats all of them. All I can guarantee is that right now <clears throat> I'm staying in a house that I wouldn't be able to live in if we hadn't filed this paperwork. The lawyers will try to screw with you. We'll play games. We got false uh, eviction notices, and it can be kind of uh, nerve-wracking, especially when you're you're down to your your very last guess. And this is it, or you leave. Mm -hmm. We tried it out of desperation, and it works. He's on the well, web. Me... Look up Dave. Look up okay, David we'll Miller. Send... No, send... Right up. please send please send me the link, and I'll tweet it out. I will do that. I hate to see people losing their houses. I lost mine to it, and this will stop it. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Sauce dude. Sauce dude. There's an yeah, echo there, so you need to change something. How's that? I don't know, testing one, two. Is that better? Little, yeah. Okay. Uh, I, 
Hey, uh, so what is, are they ca talking about a call from the Bruce call or the big call or is it from Nancy's call? What, no, what the real truth about? call. The real truth call. The real truth call last night. Yep. Oh, okay. Well, as far as this sovereign rape, uh, if you're a believer in them, then then I guess you're real di disappointed. If you've never believed there was a sovereign rape, then it's no big deal, right? Good analogy. Okay. okay, yeah, I just wanted to know what, so it's the, the real truth call uh, last night's one that everybody's upset about. Correct. Okay. It's That's the information, I mean. it's the information that was put out by uh, Yosef and Tank that everybody's very upset about because it seems to be it was misleading. Okay. Hey, and, and one other thing is uh, I had to move this last week, so I'm behind on getting out barbecue sauce, if anybody is curious. It, I'll, I'll be on my feet this week sometime. Uh, got it. Thank you, sir. Oh. Yeah, thank you, Jerry. Bye. You're welcome. Napperville, 630, come on down. Hey, Jerry, how you doing? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Got one quick call for you and or a uh, question for you, and that's how's Mr. Soil Dude doing these days? He's doing good. Soil Dude's doing good. Um, Is he, and I know the next update? question you're going to ask, and no, they have <laughs> not. They have not received that. So. Oh, they have not. Okay. Okay. Nope. Yeah, every everything else is just speculation until you have someone actually um, on the ground telling us the truth of something about their instances in this regard. So that's why I'm curious about it. But, okay, appreciate it then. Thank you. You're welcome. And I, I want to re just reaffirm again. Once that we're done, the Winget call is done on December 27th, we were just the flavor of the month or the flavor of the time. And I'm sure somebody will step up and fill the void. Just use your discernment. It'll all be okay. If you have to call them out, call them out. I pretty much have an open forum here. Just if somebody does fill the void, make them toe the line. That's all I can ask. Now then, we have got Grand Prairie, Texas. I know you're not there, but 214, come on down. Hey, Jerry. Sir. Yes, go ahead. Uh, well, I had been on the call in a long time. I've listened to everyone. If I miss it, I've been on the uh, been on the uh, replay. So I thank you and ICO, and I think y'all did an outstanding job and well deserved well deserved whatever whatever lessons happened to you. I just want to tell y'all that. I don't know if you recognize the voice, but we can. But but over there, and I had I said I'm gonna call and thank them for the time if I don't get another chance. And I feel like I know you, but I don't. You got my number there if if, if you're. Uh, wingman comes in town and y'all want to do the face to face, you can sure text me and wherever we go, I'm pretty close, you know. So <laughs> I thought I'd spit that out to you guys and uh Ico, what a what a man of reason you are and uh I gotta admit some of those people we've just got through talking about, I, I went for it but no more. And uh I said, Well, I respect both y'all's opinions so I got open minded to it. I don't know and I don't not know, so and that way, I don't have to worry about it. I got enough stuff to worry about. And I'd like to say one more thing. There's some if if, if you ain't run out of if you ain't got too much uh, Zim, that god dang eBay is unreal. I wish I'd have found it earlier. It would have saved me a lot of first investment. I didn't know if y'all knew about that either, Jerry. So all right, that's about yeah. all I got. That's about all I got, man. And uh, if I don't hear from you again, God bless you uh, uh, now and afterwards. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for your time. See you. See you, Ico. Thank you for, for 
participating. It's been my pleasure. Um, I, I see that Beaverton is here, and, and I just reminded me, and I don't know if, if the lady from Bend, Oregon, um, I must apologize. They lost your number. And if you're listening, please call them back. They are, are desperately waiting for your phone call, and, and they wish to grovel for losing your phone number, the lady in Bend, Oregon. So now we're going to go to Beaverton, 503. Come on down. Well, happy Wednesday to you today. Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, we're going to have to get you a bigger spatula so you can stir the pot, my man. One question I had is, after this uh, RV happened, I was looking at participating with you folk in the veteran projects. Uh, How will communications be able to be made with you folk regarding uh, helping and participating in that? The winged call at gmail.com. Okay. Okay, because that, that has actually been one of my uh, things. I had friends that came back from Vietnam, and they were messed up in one way. But uh, the young men that I've been seeing coming back from the Middle East and Afghanistan, they're messed up in a different way. The guy says, one day we're, we're out there, you know, dodging lead, and the next day we're out there handing out bottles of water and candy. And he said, I don't know if I was a social worker or a warrior. And um, uh, anyway, well, A little I, bit of both. Just, yeah. Uh, they've just come back. They're 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 great young men. You know, they're not just teenagers. Some of them were, you know, and uh, they come back with scars that, you know, you listen to some of the, the gentlemen from World War II, and you know, they talk about their friends getting blown up next to them, and they don't say much, and you see a little tear, you know, coming out of the corner of their eye. So, just want to help these guys. Want to be part of it with you. So, what was that email again, Jerry? The wing it call at gmail dot com and okay. and all information. I'm glad you brought that up because I just got an email. All information to follow me on Twitter without having a Twitter account and the email address can all be found at the wing it call dot com. So okay. I'm I'm answering two questions in one here. You can follow me on Twitter without having a Twitter account, meaning you don't have to sign up for Twitter to follow me. And those instructions are on the wingitcall.com on the home page. Just scroll down a little bit, and you'll see a little flip phone picture. And right next to it is the instructions of how to follow me on Twitter without having a Twitter account. And also the email address is pretty much splattered on every page. Okay, yeah, because that's actually one of the things I was doing. Uh, I've got another friend that has a a love for, you know, horses and been involved with them for a long time, and I thought, you know, you just set up a ranch where there's there's things to do, but then uh, and animals to work with, but then there's a social time, you know, and uh, try to include some recreational, and uh, instead of saying psychiatric, I say, you know, some spiritual time that they can get in their core and find out where they're real, you know, deep, inner boogie people are working on. So, uh, I just re- I was uh, impressed with your discussion over the last several calls about the retreats and, and camps and, and centers for the for the veterans. So um, I don't know how much I will or won't have, but uh, I definitely um, want to, you know, I want to support some of the things that you're doing that uh, they're, they're in my own heart and my inner core as well. But, again, thank you to you, um, Ico and, and Art, Appreciate all you've done, and uh, I can appreciate that after a couple of years of dealing with the phone and people asking the same question that we were asking back in 2013 over again, it gets to be boring. (laughs) So I wish you great blessings and great shopping. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Lost Wages, Nevada. How you doing, gentlemen? Good. How are you? Good. Doing great, Jerry. Hey, uh, I just missed the very five minutes of the call. I had to go on your website because uh, all the calls were couldn't even get in there jam-packed. Um, Wells Fargo, uh, 
what's the story real quick? Are they in on anything? Are they just not doing the Zim? Is this just a bunch of bull crap or what? You answered everything I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> with that with that last that last <laughs> statement. Bunch of bull crap. There you go. Okay. All right. <laughs> You're saying okay, well, what I can't. Okay. All right. Yeah. So how do you just make everything just like, okay, we're not going to do it now. I just, anyway. All right. I know we're really close. So uh, let's just hope this goes this week, guys, and uh, have a nice uh, Christmas. Thank you, sir. All right. Bye-bye now. So Jacksonville, Florida, 904. Come on down. Jerry, again, I'll yes, say, sir. show me the money. All this <laughs> show money, me the money. All this, show me the money. Hey, all this, all this is going on, who knows? Maybe the bankers are telling people lies. Who knows what's going on? It don't seem like nobody knows the truth. Hey, I'm like you. Show me the money. Have a good and, year. Thank you, sir. So we're going to wrap it up here. Again, we're going to be the last ones to know anything about the game plan. The best we can do is talk about it to try to keep things fresh in our mind. But truly, we won't know till we're sitting there at the desk and they say, okay. And at that point is when you remain flexible and don't start hollering, Jerry says, show me the money, and act like you're in a, a business decorum, act accordingly. But you can holler, Jerry showed me the money after you get done, but not before then. Really? Stop that. You had playtime today. Lay down. Very good. You too. Um, we, we just won't know. And, I'll, and I'm going to keep saying this until the end of the call. It has been my pleasure, my privilege, to bring you sanity, groundness, reality. You've grown with me. You've watched me morph into maybe not an intellectual redneck, but how about just a highfalutin redneck? You know, I upgraded a set of overalls with holes in them. I just got overalls with both straps hooked on me. So, Wingman, any last words of wisdom before we sign off for the day? Just that... Uh... I'd say it's gone a little bit beyond relax, relax, relax now. What we have to do is we have to, uh, you know, we, Recon gave us as good a picture as they, they, they could, but there's a lot hidden. There's a lot out there that we don't know about. There's a lot that we've been misdirected on. Um, and we're just going to have to be real smart when the time comes. We've got the tools. We've been given all of the information inside of all of the wrong information. Uh, and that's partially survival on their part, so that no one can sue any other entity for saying, well, you know, you gave us all bad information. No, that's not true. I mean, you saw what Yosa set up past the past two posts. He essentially gave you everything you need to know with the exception of some key items, uh, and then put out some false items. But any good lawyer is going to take that in a court of law and basically get the other side off the hook. So 
So you see, you mm-hmm. see how this is working, guys. You see how this. You see what what what's going down. Um, the smart people are going to uh, are going to win out big time, and the folks who put it in other people's hands, who don't do their own homework, who only listen to one entity and not all of them, they're the ones who are going to lose. So with that, I will say the magic word if you've got anything else you need to say first. Um, whoever the next flavor of the month that replaces the wing it call, show them this who show them the same respect that you've shown me. Just if they're a little off base, say, hey, hold on here. Just hold their feet to the fire. Other than that, wingman, what is that last wonderful word of the day? Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. See you Friday. The conference is now completed. Goodbye.